Okay, haven't done this whole YouTube thing in a while, but welcome to my Linux tutorial. Um, if you don't know what Linux is, it is a computer operating system used by coders and programmers, and it's way better than Mac or Windows. But anyway, um, you can install Linux on a regular PC, or you can start a virtual machine with something like VirtualBox. And if you want to do that for this tutorial, that's fine. But if you're a complete beginner, I recommend you make a AWS account. Uh, and for free, you can spawn up a virtual machine with Amazon's light sales. So that is what we're going to do right now. So you want to select a platform. You want to come over to OS only. And then we're going to be using the Ubuntu uh, distribution. Uh, one thing about Linux is that because it's built open source, you can customize it. So what people have done is they basically made different versions of Linux for different things. And Ubuntu is pretty much the, um, the go-to for web servers for a lot of people. Um, as you can see, you can add a launch script. Uh, we're going to skip that for now. Um, you'll have a default SSH key which will allow you to access the remote server. Um, and basically, you get to choose how much RAM and memory for this. And you can see we get three months, uh, three months free. So we're just going to do the cheapest. Um, it's 3.5 price per month. Uh, how many gigs does this have? Now nah, we'll go with the, two, the 10. Just because I don't know. I'm going to install Docker and stuff, so I don't know how much that's going to cost. So yeah, so we get 2 gigs. We get one virtual CPU. We get 60 gigs of solid, solid state drive, which uh, I think is storage. And you see the highest. We have $160. You have 8 CPUs, 32 gigs, uh, 7 terabytes of, of transfer. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just going to click 10. If you're balling on a budget, you can click this. Um, make sure if you don't want to pay, you cancel it after the first three months. But anyway, we're just going to call this Corey's Linux tutorial. Uh, okay. So I will create the instance. <coughs> And we got to wait a couple minutes. So that was pretty easy. It's way easier than installing VirtualBox, uh, downloading the correct ISO image, and installing it from there. Plus, we don't eat up a ton of storage on our computer. As you can see, we have our IP addresses, IPv4, IPv6. And this is the, the zone I am in. And the first three months of this are free. So what I'm going to do on the next episode is we're going to run over the basic Linux file system structure and command. So stay tuned and be sure to like and subscribe.